Now we're going to learn about prorating by ratios. But first, we need to learn some new vocabulary. We're going to learn about overhead expenses. So overhead expenses are expenses that cannot be easily identified with one department in the company. For example, electricity and insurance. So let's say you're the accountant for a Costco store. And part of your job is to take the electricity bill and divide it up amongst the different departments to go against their budget. So how do you know how much electricity each department used? You don't. How about insurance? There's no way to know. So what Costco might decide to do is they might decide to assign its, the overhead expenses to each department in proportion to each department's share of total sales. So in other words, if the electronics department of the Costco store generates the most sales, they get the largest portion of overhead expenses assigned to their budget. And if the hearing aid booth produces the least amount of sales, they get the smallest portion of overhead expenses assigned to their budget. So prorating overhead expense in proportion to total sales is called prorating by ratios. So let's do an example. Let's say your Costco has five departments, department A, B, C, D, and E. And your job, oh, by the way, we've got sales for each department. The department that generates the most sales is department C, and the department that generates the least sales is department B. And we've got our total sales, 475,468. So your job as the accountant of this Costco store is to take their overhead expense, of which it's a total 138,357. So these overhead expenses are things like the electricity expense, insurance expense, etc. And divide them up, also called prorating by department, in proportion to each department's share of total sales. So the more sales the department generated, the more of the overhead expenses they're going to get allocated towards their budget. This Costco store wants to be very accurate. So set your decimal selector to six. And then here's the formula. We're going to take our overhead expenses and divide by total sales. So notice this is just a fraction. Overhead expenses are on top, total sales are on the bottom. So our overhead expenses are 138,357. We're going to divide that by total sales, 475,468. When you do that on your calculator, you get 0 0.290991. So what this means is for every dollar of the item on the bottom, which is sales, so for every dollar of sales, each department is going to get approximately 29 cents of the thing on top, which is overhead expense. So now we can figure out how much overhead expense each department gets. So let's start with department A. So department A had $100,452 of sales. So we're going to take that and multiply it by the 0 0.290991. When you do that, you get $29,230.63. That means out of the $138,357 of total overhead expense, department A gets $29,230.63. For Department B, you're going to take its sales, 82881 multiply it by the 0 0.290991, and you get $24,117.63 of overhead expenses. We're going to do the same thing with Department C. D. N E. Now remember, what is the amount that we are trying to spread out over all these departments? It's the overhead expenses, which is 138357 So we have to make sure that the overhead expenses that we've just allocated, the numbers in bold, equal 138357 So go ahead and add those up. 
and oftentimes you're going to be a few cents off due to rounding. So we'll have to fix that if we're a few cents off. So what do you get when you add up our overhead expenses? You get something close to 138357 but not exactly. So when you add them up, you get $138,356.92. So we're eight cents short. So when you add up the overhead expenses, if they do not equal exactly the 138357 the rule is you find the department with the largest amount of sales which is department C and you adjust its overhead expenses which is currently 31,652.55 you adjust the overhead expenses up or down just enough so that when you re-add them they now equal 138,357 and since overhead expenses add up to 138,356.92 and we're eight cents short, we have to add eight cents to department C. So on the next slide, I've added eight cents to department C and instead of ending in 0.55, it now ends in 0.63. So now if we add up our overhead expenses, they equal exactly 138,357.